Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this makeup look with only drugstore products. Before we start, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't ever miss a future video. So if you would like to see how I got this look using only drugstore products, just keep watching. Okay, so honestly there's a lot of products that I haven't tried um, just because I went to make a tutorial on drugstore products, but I looked at my stuff and I only had like three things. So I had to order a bunch of stuff. So we will see how these perform. We don't know yet, but we'll see. So I already moisturized my face and I'm just gonna go in with brows. I'm using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I've heard a lot of people talk about this, but I haven't been able to try it out. I really wanted to. But the Ulta's that I go to, they never have it in the store. It's really good, actually. I heard um, people comparing it to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And that's the one I use most of the time. Or I'll use the Benefit Precise My Brow. But everyone is saying this is really good, especially for only being $5. And honestly, it really is. Like, it goes on nicely, but the pencil isn't too waxy. Cause I know a lot of other ones will do that. Okay, yeah, I actually really liked that. Now I'm just gonna kind of carve them out like I usually do. But I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It says it's a satin finish and I got the shade Medium Golden. And I got all of these online. So honestly, we'll see about the shades. Not too sure. The eyebrow was pretty good, but we'll see about this one. Concealer is harder. And for this one, I heard people comparing it to Tarte Shape Tape and saying it was a dupe. So we'll see. But just from that, it's going on really good. It's really creamy and it's not too thin like a lot of other drugstore concealers that I used to try. I thought that did pretty well. Okay, so I did my brows and the concealer and I really like the way that that looks. So I'm kind of liking both products already. I think they're really good, especially for the price point. So now we're gonna go into eyeshadow. I honestly didn't have much eyeshadow. So we're just gonna go with what I had. So I just got this for Easter. It's the Revolution Chocolate Egg. That's what it looks like. And I think I'm just gonna go in with the pink and brown shades cause I'm also gonna add a pink glitter on top. So I'm gonna take this pink shade and just put that first. I'm gonna put it kind of like higher in my crease. So when I add the glitter, this is what's gonna show. And I don't want it to be too much. I don't need it too bright because I am putting a pink glitter. So I just want it to kind of blend in with it. And it's a really pretty color. I mean, it's not too, too much to where it would look bad with the glitter. I think it's like the perfect color in the perfect amount of shimmer. Okay, so I'm gonna take this brown shade and I'm gonna put it in my outer V and just kind of make it a little bit darker right there. And this one with the pink shade looks really pretty. It kind of turns into like a, a brown pink color. And then I kind of want to blend it in with the pink shade so it's a better transition. And I think that looks good. So I think I'm gonna leave it there and then I'm gonna add the glitter from here. So I'm just gonna take some of that concealer and just cut the crease just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with that brown shade and just go back in the corners since we did add the concealer and just to make it blend a little bit better. Okay, so now I'm taking the NYX Glitter Primer and the NYX Glitter Brilliance in the shade 02. And I'm just gonna take some of the glue and put it right where I put the concealer. Okay, I'm gonna take the glitter, I'm gonna put some of it in the cap, and I'm gonna get the same brush that I had, dip it in there, and pat it on. And I have glitter everywhere, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of eyeliner on top. I'm using the NYX Retractable Liner in the shade Brown, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the top, and I'm just smoking out the end of the eye, I'm not really touching where the glitter is. Okay, and that looks good, so I'm gonna move on to mascara. I heard a lot of people talking about the Essence Lash Princess, so I decided to pick that up. 
and it's really really inexpensive so i just wanted to try it out it's actually making my eyelashes really long i'm not gonna put too much on because i am putting on false lashes but i think this was pretty good i would suggest it if you like really long and thin lashes i kind of like mine a little bit thicker but overall i think this is really good for the price okay so i'm gonna use some lashes i'm gonna use the ones on the top in this ardell foam ink pack and then i'm gonna use this dual glue it has the clear and the black glue and i'm gonna go ahead and use the black glue okay and lashes are on i actually really like these lashes i haven't used them before because they look like ones that i wouldn't use but they're actually really pretty i like how it gets small and then bare and they're not too dramatic and you can still see the eye so i really like these okay so onto the face i'm gonna try out the elf luminous putty primer i know a lot of people were raving about the poreless putty primer but i saw they had a luminous one and i have really dry skin so I thought I would give that a try instead. So I'm just gonna put this on. It does feel really nice. So you can already tell this is gonna be really hydrating on my skin when my foundation is on. Okay, so I actually really liked that. Uh, I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal Imperfect 2-in-1. I have the shade 9 and it's tan. And I've had this one for a while. I actually really like it. I think I got it on sale at Target. One time I was just at Target looking through the makeup and this one was on sale for like $4. Okay, so I put my foundation on. I think it looks really pretty. It looks nice and glowy with the primer underneath and it just feels really hydrating. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the concealer and put it under my eyes. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose, my forehead. I think I'm gonna put a little bit down here too. Okay, that concealer is pretty good. I feel like I can actually get a shade or two lighter. I usually like to brighten my face. I just feel like this one kind of blends in, but it's still really pretty. I kind of like it. So next is bronzer. I heard this Essence Matte Bronzing Powder it was really good, and it smells like the beach. It smells like sunscreen. That actually looks really pretty. It's kind of a reddish brown. It just gives you that nat natural redness, but I don't think it looks too bad. Honestly, I like it and it just feels really nice it's really lightweight and it's like a soft matte i wouldn't say it's like a really really harsh matte it's like a soft matte that like makes your skin really soft and really airbrushed looking so i think this bronzer is pretty good for a drugstore okay so for blush i'm going to be using the milani baked powder blush in luminoso this is so like worn out i've had it for a while and it's really good it's my favorite drugstore blush and it's like already flat so when you get it it's like a little curve and now it's like flat but i really like this because it gives you like a nice sheen so a lot of the times i don't wear highlight with it i'm still gonna wear highlight today but most of the time i won't if i'm just doing like an everyday look with this it's a pretty like pink corally color and then it just has like that sheen to it so it's not shimmer but it just gives you a beautiful glow i kind of wish i would have gotten a powder but i didn't and i'm kind of sad I'll get a powder soon. But anyways, on to highlight. I'm gonna use a Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter and this is actually a pink color. I really like these. They're really bright and they're really buttery. They're super soft, but they're very pigmented. So I feel like the best way to put it on is with your finger and then just blend it in with the sponge. Okay, I'm gonna put some on my nose and then I'm just gonna put a little bit the corner of my eyes and i really like how the pink highlighter looks especially with the eyeshadow so now i'm just gonna go back and take the mascara and do my bottom lashes okay next i'm gonna be doing my lips with the nyx lip liner in peekaboo neutral Okay, and then I'm gonna take the NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake, and I'm just gonna top my lips off with that. Okay, and I know this is not technically a drugstore, but it's pretty on the inexpensive side. Is this Ulta Beauty Dewy Makeup Setting Mist. It's not spraying. What's wrong with it? Okay, so I figured out the problem. The little tube that goes in there came out so I'm just gonna use something else 
okay? Okay, so since that was a flop, I'm just gonna keep it on the inexpensive side and go in with the Mara Badescu facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. Okay, that was much better. I actually really liked how everything came out and I haven't done a glitter look in a long time. All right, you guys, and this is the finished look for my drugstore makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.